Hi everyone, thank you for watching Aviv Tarot and today we are going to do, it's not a pick a car reading, is I feel called to actually last week um, to do a reading on angel numbers or if you're seeing repeated numbers and um, I did that in Chinese first and so today we are going to do one in English, okay? so what it is is that if you've been seeing a lot of repeated numbers um and you're wondering if you know besides the the meaning of angel numbers that you can find on you know if you google or something like that uh what other information is your guardian angel your you know whatever your belief you believe in your gods buddhas or universe okay whatever you you believe in is trying to tell you or you know your deceased uh, loved ones um you know so um so we're doing it one 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 two nine 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 it could be it could be you know seeing it repeated four times or three times one 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 two 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 three 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 i'm just using um the the repeated four numbers as a um like a message they they tend to give you like similar messages okay if you're seeing just repeated ones repeated twos repeated threes through nine okay um i am not doing a repeated zero one today but if people are actually seeing a lot of repeated zeros leave it in the comment section below and then i will do another video in the future and i will include repeated zeros if um there are a lot of people seeing repeated zeros okay so um this is like a short reading for today um it's just you know a message a quick message if you're seeing repeated numbers what it's what it's trying to tell you what kind of message it's trying to tell you and all of the timestamps are going to be in the description box below if you need more time which i doubt <laughs> unless you're going to do a pick a car reading okay that's that's okay too if you haven't seen a lot of repeated numbers and but you just feel like i want to pick and pick a number and see what if you know there's any message for me you can do that as well but if you are seeing a lot of repeated numbers then um you know um there might be a message for you all right, so I am going to start with number ones. All right, so for number ones, if you're seeing a lot of one, 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 what does that mean? Or one, one, ones, ones in general, okay? Doesn't matter how many it is at a time uh yeah but you're just seeing it repeatedly okay as you know it's twin flames if it's one 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 it's also about creating a new beginning it's also about having a spiritual gifts okay and then also it's about doorways are opening for you or to you so if you're seeing a lot of one 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 ones these are the four general messages re, uh, related to the ones okay seeing repeated ones um let's see additional messages okay so i drew a oracle and a tarot card okay so if you're seeing a lot of ones it's also telling you to forgive okay so there might be some things that you've been holding a grudge on maybe there are people that did you wrong and you're trying to seek justice you're just um can't live past it okay um so what it's trying to tell you is that you need to move on and and forgive okay i mean justice might be served but that is out of your control and that is up to the divine to decide what kind of punishment that they does deserve or you know it could be a good thing but i most likely if you're holding on it it's telling you to forgive it's probably something that you know bad that they've done to you something that they've wronged you okay and you're just 
holding on to it and not letting go of it. And so what it's trying to tell you is that you need to forgive and move on and move on with your life. And it says doorways are opening to you and create a new beginning. So you can't hold on to all these past stuff anymore. Okay. Got to move on having a new beginning, create a new life for yourself look forward instead of backward instead of living in the past okay there will be lots of good things coming in for you but you gotta forgive it could also be forgiving yourself so it's not necessarily somebody that did you wrong but maybe you feel like you've you you've made a wrong decision in the past um you know, and, and you, you regret doing certain things and you probably should get forgive yourself and also and learn from that experience and just try not to make that same mistake again and forgive yourself and move on, create a new beginning for, uh, for you and look forward to better and bigger things. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot cards. We have the Knight of Discs which is uh, the Knight of Pentacles in, or Knight of Coins, okay? It is, it's an energy of Leo moving into Virgo. Virgo energy, very strong. It's a very earthy uh, energy. So I think you're probably stuck thinking a lot about stuff. Virgo is, you know, the guardian planet for Virgo is Mercury. So it's very, very analytical. Um, it's very slow moving. I, also, I feel with the Knight of Discs, sometimes it's I, it gives me a feeling of Taurus energy as well, very slow. Um, Virgo, very analytical. Sometimes it's very, it depends on how you look at it, okay? It's about detail, very detailed, but it, they could get very, very petty as well, like stuck on like a tiny little thing and then and cannot move on. And, it, it, and to go with the same kind of message about this forgive and moving on kind of thing, you're just stuck in a loop and pattern and you're not letting yourself go. Um, meaning that you need to forgive yourself or forgive the other people so that you can move on and and find new things okay the past is past things that's been done cannot be undone and you can't go back to fix things but and you cannot go back and relive anything so the the night of this is like a very slow moving energy so you're moving at a very slow pace okay and i feel like like even if you're moving very slow it's okay okay just at least you're moving forward okay so don't get too stuck on all of these past energy all these pet petty little things virgo energy you know just like going in so like deep and cannot like digging yourself into a rabbit hole and not and cannot get out of it and it's it's kind of like that okay so the 11 11 card um or seeing once repeated once is telling you that you need to move forward move on even if it's at a very slow pace even if it's um very hard okay you need to get out of your head you need to move forward you need to pick up your energy okay and and sometimes you, or i feel like with the knight of discs is also telling you that you may not feel like you're moving forward you may feel like you're getting stuck in a loop as well but you are moving forward just at a very slow pace Okay, just very, very slowly. So if you feel like you're kind of like in a stuck energy, then maybe it is time that you, you want to pick up that pace a little bit, okay? But I feel like that control is in your hand, how fast you want to move. Because the one energy is telling you to move forward, but how fast you move is up to you. And right now you're moving at a turtle pace, okay? <laughs> the pace of a turtle. So if you want to move a little bit faster, you got to forgive yourself, forgive the other people. And I feel like then you will be able to uh, create a new beginning for yourself.
bigger, better things. Just remember that, okay? So that's what I see for pile um, one, okay? Or if you're seeing repeated number ones. Let me know how this resonates with you. You can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel. And you can turn on that notification bell if you wanna get notified for future readings. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, so people who are seeing repeated number twos or if you chose pile number two, okay, um, your message for pile, uh, if you're seeing repeated twos, it's telling you that it's to build and to create, okay? And also, um, uh, let me see, what is it? Uh, is the time to do and oh now is the time to do and not talk so it's time to do stuff and instead of just keep talking about things okay and then over here is have faith your dreams and plans here uh, uh have a real future if you go forward now so that's the same kind of uh, message as you know Go and do it instead of just waiting for things or waiting for, oh, when I have this, then I will do this. No, now is the time to do it and you will be able to get whatever things that you are hoping to get, the dreams and plans that you're hoping to realize, okay, into reality, you will be able to do that once you make a move. Things will not come out of thin air. You have to put in the work, make the effort for it to manifest, okay? So now let's take a look at what you got for your Oracle card. We have healing chaos. Um, we have a huge tornado right here and then lots of uh, butterfly. So I feel like there's a transformation right here because um, you know, whenever we see butterflies and look how many butterflies, lots of butterflies and then like in the middle of a tornado storm, okay? So I feel like your life right now might be feel like very, very chaotic, but regardless, okay? You need to heal, um, heal yourself and um, I feel like the book has a better explanation of this. Let me read it for you so that you can um, get the, the most out of this card. It says that when you receive this card, it acknowledges potential chaos or the need for chaos as an activator for profound heading. If your life seems chaotic, know that it has an underlying energy of healing. You are being healed on all levels. You are a healer. Alternatively, if your life is calm to the point of being stagnant, this card suggests that it might be time to create a bit of chaos in your life. It will activate healing. Do the unexpected. Mix life up a bit. And so I feel like with the com the combination of seeing a lot of twos if you're you know the second part of that message is that if you feel very stagnant right now you got to mix things up you got to do something to spice it up a little okay but if your life is extremely chaotic right now it means that it's actually trying to heal something it, there's you're trying to learn something from it okay you're this is an experience um of a lifetime and it's helping you to heal okay and and also it's helping you to move forward it says to build and to create right so with the chaos that means it's everything is destroyed and then so you can rebuild and recreate new things okay that's the thing about transformation that we mentioned earlier Okay, so let's take a look at your tarot card, what it says. We have the magician, nice. Okay, so yes, manifest, do, do things. You have everything already. You have everything already, okay? Look at all of the, 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 the swords, the cups, okay? The wands and the coins. You have all that things in your hand. You're, you know, juggling, okay? And this wand is extending from the ground all the way over the rim of this uh, card, right? So everything, it's extending, expanding. And then we have the little egg right here. 
okay with the wings it is on a journey this is the beginning of its journey okay so um i think you are on your way to a new beginning you're trying to build and create something and i think with the magician card you like what it says over here two 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 you need to manif you're manifesting it but it again like what we just mentioned earlier it's not going to come out of thin air you need to make the effort you need to do things you cannot expect it to just fall into your lap okay um there is work to be done by you and um also two is also a, a um partnership okay so i feel like for some of you also is it's about not doing things alone it's about asking for help okay if you feel like you're in a stagnant whether you're in a stagnant mode right now or you're just life filled with chaos um if you need help you need to ask them for help don't be shy again it's about doing and not just talking about it um do something about it okay about the chaos or do something about it if you feel very stuck okay um you need to you need to make the change that you want to see happen does that make sense um it's kind of that saying about like be the change that you want to see um in the world or something like that and this is kind of the same thing you got to change you got to do something in order for something to change all right so and you have the power this is a major arcana card the magician one of my favorite card also it's very um the magician also has a slight manipulative undertone as well so maybe whatever you're doing right now or whatever none doing you're doing right now you're trying to manipulate something to do something for you but no you want to put that energy back into your hands instead of manipulating other people you should put it into a spin it and put it as a more positive thing okay the the manipulation not necessarily a bad thing but but um because everything's it, it is in your hand and if you are trying to manipulate things try to do something good out of it okay so try to use that energy for something to create something good okay so um and two also is the a number about love okay so everything any of the decisions that you want to make do it um based off of love so there is a transformation coming but you need to make that happen you need to transform you need to um step out of your comfort zone and you need to make that first step in order to see the change happen okay or in order for change to start happening around you all right so that's what i see for pile number two and that is the message if you're seeing a lot of repeated twos okay leave it in the comment section below if you have anything that you would like to share with me or you know how that resonate with you if you know it kind of um is what you're going through right now in life and um don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and my video and you can turn that notification bell on if you want to be notified in the future for future readings and thank you for watching my video i will see you in the next video bye bye all right so for pile number three or if you've seen a you you've been seeing a lot of threes this is the message that message that it's trying to tell you um you are supported by your angels in everything you do the second message is that take control over the situation third is that you have chosen the right path and then lastly have confidence in yourself and in god okay and uh, if you don't have you know any particular religion or belief and then it's you know the universe or whatever you believe in so have faith in that so number threes that's what you're is trying to tell you okay 
whatever you're doing, you are on the right path. So let's take a look at your Oracle card. We have fulfillment. Nice. Um, this peach looks very yummy and it's ripe, ready to be um, picked. So I think you're very, very close to your goal. Okay, and um, whatever you're doing right now, you got to keep going. Don't if you're thinking about giving up. Well, it's telling you that don't give up just yet. Have confidence in yourself. Okay, if you're thinking like, oh, do I have the talent to do this? Am I meant to do this? Yes. Okay, you are on the right path. And you will also if you've been putting um, the control like the, the steering wheel in other people's hand, you got to take that control back, okay? You, um, in order, I feel like for this fulfillment, this is kind of that 10 of cups energy or the nine of cups, okay? Dreams come true, um, feeling very, very satisfied. And I I also see with this moon, it's a lot of like uh, intuition, okay? So, um, I feel like in your guts, you know what you need to do, what is the right thing to do. So if you feel some, whatever you're doing right now is a little bit off, you're probably right. And then you want to steer yourself to the right path. Okay. Cause you are being washed over. You are being supported in whatever you do. You just got to stick to it and keep going. Okay. People who give up, um, are the ones that will never get this fulfillment or feel satisfied and they will never they're they're um you know they are um what do you call those people <laughs> i don't want to say losers because it's not necessarily true sometimes you got to give up sometimes right because it just doesn't work you got to steer yourself to a different direction but um you got to know when is that limit and if you can achieve it right now with the with seeing repeated threes it's telling you that you have the talent you are on the right path so it's just stick to it okay don't give up all right so um with the let's take a look at what you got for the tarot cards we have valor okay valor uh seven of wands it's about courage it's about defending what you believe Okay, over here we have that. Remember that last message? It says, have confidence in yourself and in God's. And so I I feel like, you know, whatever you believe in, you got to stick to it. You got to defend yourself. So even if everyone tell is telling you otherwise, ooh, sorry, I, I moved the camera. Even if everyone is telling you otherwise, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that you you have what it takes, okay, to to fulfill your dreams, to fulfill your goals. And you're very very close. Look how close up we are seeing this peach. It's like super close, like in our face. Okay? So you're very very close and you are supported. So I feel like there's a, probably a lot of obstacles are on your way. Um, it's probably not the easiest uh, path that you've chosen. Okay, it's not the easiest thing that you've um, that you're going through right now. But have the courage and um, and believe that you can do it. Because when you do achieve that goal, when you do reach that final. Um, destination you'll be so proud of yourself and everything on the way is trying to teach you something and you will be that much stronger and I always believe in that whatever um, doesn't kill you makes you stronger right all right so that's what I see for um, pile threes or if you that's the message for people who are seeing a lot of threes i feel like you're probably um wondering you know if you should be giving up if this is the right thing to do it's like in it's telling you that yes it's you're being supported okay just keep going you're almost there 
So let me know how this resonate with you. You can leave it in the comment section below. And if you have anything that you want to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section as well. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and or my video. And turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified in the future for uh, when I have new videos uploaded. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, so for pile number four, or if for people who are seeing a lot of repeated fours, this is the message for you. It says, this is the answer to your prayer, okay, with a wish or question. Okay, the second message is that hard work will, uh, will soon pay off. Make the most of your lucky break um stay strong i think that's strong stay strong even though the road is not smooth okay so for, for people who are uh it's like a quite similar message as uh people who are seeing threes the only thing is i would say that it's telling you that it's soon going to pay off pile number three i feel like there is still a little bit of ways to go but pile number four or if you're seeing a lot of fours you're almost there okay you're almost there and um and if you feel like being stuck right now because number four sometimes has that um the, with the third message i gives me a little bit of that four of swords energy where it's like kind of a stagnant or resting period and what it is is that it's you know take advantage of it maybe you've been working so hard maybe you've been you know trying to fight off all of these obstacles it's telling you to take a break okay take it as a break not as um you know giving up forever okay it's not it's it's not an and yet it's just a break it's just a, a rest in the middle of your long journey okay so now uh let's take a look at what you got for your oracle cards we have patience yep so if you're not we were just talking about it if you are in a stagnant energy if you are at a standstill um patience is the key sometimes right now is not the perfect time to do whatever you want to do okay but your prayer is being answered your wish your question is being answered whatever you've been if you've been asking for a sign if you've been asking for um directions guidance seeing four 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 is telling you that you yes it's a yes it's tell it's answering your prayer um it's telling you that you are on the, on the right path whatever you are doing don't give up keep going um or you know if you are if your prayer is actually or your wish or something is asking about should i give up okay should i move on to a different um goal or whatever it really depends on how you're asking that question, but seeing the four is a confirmation of that prayer and that um, wish or question that you're asking, all right? And if you've been working very, very hard, okay, then you will actually soon seeing that hard work being paid off. If you have not worked very hard and be honest with yourself if you know you could work just a little bit harder okay you haven't putting your 100 percent um effort into it yet then you gotta put that make it up to that 100 percent okay because the only person that you're cheating is yourself you know that you haven't worked as hard we all know what i always know when i'm being lazy i could work just a little bit harder okay and if you truly honestly feel that you've worked the hardest as you can the best as you can then you will soon see that hard work being paid off and right now it's just telling you to have a little bit of patience okay this is a stork um 
that I see and the stork uh, in the Lenormand card is about change. So something is about to change and it's flying, it's taking off, okay? Things are going to take off now, okay? When you hit the rock bottom, the only place you can go is up. All right, so that's what I see for uh, with the oracle cards we're not done yet we have the tarot card so now we have indolence okay this is eight of cups um eight of cups in a rider way deck it's about uh moving away okay things that are not serving you you're walking away you're ready to move on to bigger better things um in a toth tarot deck Okay, the number eight card is about indolence. It's about not having enough energy to sustain whatever you want to do. Um, so I feel like with this, with the rest of the cards, okay, in combination of it, is telling you that you know if whatever you're doing right now, um, if it's not for the best, then maybe it is time to that let, let that thing go, okay? And maybe that, that, that stagnant, okay, energy is because you're holding on to something that um, is no longer uh, in your highest good, okay? That's serving you. Um, also, stay strong even though the road is not smooth. And I feel like this is just... Um, because it's indolence, okay? It's just, um, I, what I see is like, this is almost like a little bit of a, like a lighting. See how like the water is the top cups, doesn't even have any water coming down anymore. And this water, this cup is empty as well. And this is like barely pouring any water down, okay? And so I just feel like, um, maybe it's time to give it a little bit of rest. If you've been working very, very, very hard, maybe over here it says, make this, make the most of your lucky break. This lucky break I feel like is like taking a break, okay? Rest a little bit, think, of, think things through. You've worked very, very hard. Like, I, like what we were talking earlier um, that you know, be honest with your with yourself. If you've been working very, very, very hard, now it's time to take a break. Taking a break is just as important as moving, okay, as actively going after something, pursuing. And um, so I've been, if you've been working really hard, then you need to give yourself a little bit of a break now. And sometimes that stagnant or the in activity is what propels you later on when you have uh, acquired all of your energy to you know to to take off okay to soar higher into the sky so that's what i see for pile number four and um if you've been seeing a lot of fours that's the message for you that you probably need to take a break be a little bit more patient Okay, things will start to pick up and um, your hard work will be paid off if you've been working very, very hard and your answer, your whatever your your question, okay, your wish, your prayers are being answered. It's just, you know, in the works and you'll see that soon. Or if you've been asking for guidance or sign or something like that, seeing number fours is the answer to that question, prayer. Or wish all right so let me know how this resonates with you you can leave it in the comment section below and if you have anything that you want to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below as well and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and or my video and turn on that notification bell if you want to get noted you if you want to be notified uh, for future readings and thank you for watching I will see you in the next video bye bye all right, so people who are seeing number fives, 
repeated fives, okay? So repeated fives, let's take a look at the message that it's trying to tell you. First of all, it's telling you that per persevere through the hard time as they teach us to be stronger. You will soon achieve your dreams by living a life of peace, balance, and harmony, a clear head and light heart can help you see things clearly and then lastly keep going down the road you're on your dreams are closer than you think okay so this is this is about per perseverance okay and also it's telling you that you will be soon living your life with peace balance and harmony so you're at a five right now because peace harmony and balance is number six so you're almost there you're in the middle of your journey right now all right um five is about change as well and then over here i feel like this is the most important message right here is that it says it's a clear head and light heart can help you see things clearly all right so light heart is the key message so even if you're going through a lot of hardship right now um you want to still keep you know keep your optimism you want to not take things so seriously and personally um persevere because you're very 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 close to the end of this the, this chaotic chaotic moment okay this chaos in your life right now change is coming all right so take, let's take a look at your oracle card and see what other messages uh are fives okay seeing repeated fives is trying to tell you we have pleasure all right this is peace this is calm look at this this is very very nice there's like deer and um like the moon this almost feels very very fairy tale like right Alice in Wonderland or something like that and then like the night sky maybe this is trying to tell you that you know even at a moment of chaos okay and if you are going through a lot of difficulties right now you need to go and go to the the, the go to go into the nature okay and um, lie down look at the sky and look at how beautiful everything is around you and you'll feel and you'll realize that there are still a lot of wonderful things in life that's worth living for okay and um and there's a lot of wonders that you need you still need to see and miracles okay that will be happening soon just fairy tales pleasure you maybe you need to pleasure yourself a little bit maybe you've been working so 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 hard it's trying to tell you to um find something that you enjoy okay let me take a look let's take a look i feel guided to take a look at the guidebook and see if there's any additional message besides what i just told you okay um it says savor your life each and every part of it take pleasure in slowing down and experiencing each of your senses taste your food with full gusto inhale the scents of the world around you enjoy the colors and textures of your life this is truly a stop and smell the roses card embrace your sensuality move in um, a languid way move in a languid way let pleasure be your password into every intimate part of your life allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying each moment with verve and a radiant energy will flow through you in all directions of your life so i feel like what it's trying to tell you is that you need to slow down you need to slow down and enjoy the moment so don't look into the future don't look into the past enjoy the moment right now if you are the kind of person that you know if you eat food while you work while you watch tv well um this is something i learned in an acting class and i think this is a really good uh way of slowing things down and this is one of the ways um for uh 
you know you can do when you're eating so it, whichever is your stronger hands meaning your dominant hand so okay the one that you write you write with and you do most of the things with okay now use your less dominant hand when you eat so if you always use your right hand then now when you eat use your left hand to eat it will slow you down and um and do one thing at a time focus on each thing when you do it instead of trying to multitask because five is very very chaotic you've already have a lot of chaos a lot of things going on around you and you're probably multitasking all the time and so now you need to reverse that energy and actually do one thing at a time and put your entire focus in one thing at a time and really experience it okay and this will also help you when you experience life and i feel like that's what it's trying to tell you slow down change is coming you need to do things a little bit differently than what you've been doing before okay so if you like if you walk you're a super fast walker now maybe you need to slow down if you are a slow walker maybe you need to change things up you need to start walking fast okay but either way enjoy each moment to its fullest that's one of the messages coming through with this combined with the fives okay change now with the tarot card we have science this is the six of swords card and toth tarot which is very interesting because the six of swords is about science it's about knowledge it's about learning continue to learn things continue to do things in a scientific way so not letting your emotions getting into um whatever you're trying to do so number five again very very chaotic energy you might get very emotional you might get uh, very um easily um disturbed okay good and bad so now you need to let that logic kick in okay not take again not take things personally just do things um just do the things and then take your emotion out of it okay because it's going to i think emotions runs quite high maybe recently okay if you're seeing a lot of fives it's telling you to maybe cool down a little bit and savor each moment enjoy each moment find the good things in each of your moment instead of focusing on the bad stuff and then over here is telling you to use this time to acquire as much knowledge about stuff okay or using your knowledge using your logic to resolve the chaos around you and also uh six of swords in the rider weight card is about moving away moving away from chaos into a ro uh into a calming water okay so you are moving away from this chaos energy right now you're just very very close you're in the process of moving at the moment so you're just you're almost there okay so that's what um i see with uh the number fives and that's also the message for people who are seeing a lot of fives recently and um let me know how this resonates with you by leaving in the comment section below and if you have anything that you want to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below as well and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and or my video and turn on that notification bell if you would like to get notified for future readings and thank you thank you for watching my videos and i will see you in the next video bye bye all right so if you are seeing a lot of sixes recently this is the message for you um you are ready to do anything for love you are expecting lots of positive things and moments in the future and then also it's about make the important decision and go with what you love remain positive so this is about like you know following what you love um 
go after that big dreams of yours and also again i think um there was like an earlier pile i don't remember which one it's about you know base everything out of love i think it might have been pile twos number twos um but number six is definitely a love number as well it's the lover's card the number six right and number six is all about peace i know in like the bible 666 is like a horrible number but it's actually a real in numerology and um tarot readings actually especially if you uh study toth six is actually a very very good number it's actually um a reflection of the ones the ace card the aces okay so six is about peace and harmony all of the sixes in the tarot deck is about victory it's about moving into a calming water harmony generosity right so um so number six is a very very good card and um and a lot of love a lot of generous energy so um you're expecting lots of positive things coming in so if you're seeing a lot of sixes it's about you're going to be receiving a lot of love from people um, or it's telling you to actually love the people around you, give them a lot of love, show them that you love them, okay? If you've been very shy, okay, or embarrassed to show your affection to other people, well, tell, seeing sixes is telling you that you need to show that, okay? And by showing that, you will receive that in return because it's all about balance. It's all about giving and receiving this number sixes okay and um and also if you have any important decisions for pile number six people seeing the sixes is telling you that it's time to make that final decision okay so if you've been um trying to you know procrastinate that that decision that you want to make because the number six card and the lover's card is also about making a decision so um it's it's telling you to make a decision. It's time to make a final decision. All right, so let's take a look at your tarot card. We have transformation. There you go. The huge butterfly right there with the rose right in the middle. So there is love coming as we were talking about. And this change, this transformation is for the better. Okay, you're going, and I feel like with this rose and transformation, I think it's also about beauty so if you are um you know maybe uh working on your health working on making yourself looking beautiful pretty fit um handsome okay it's about that as well so um you know and i think you will be able to achieve that and um and you know love makes us look beautiful <laughs> makes us look pretty and love is a huge motivator for us to want to change to transform ourselves into something better so that is that energy all right so it's time to transform it's time to make us make us make ourselves look pretty nice um it's also time to be generous i feel like if you um are thinking about making charity moves or something like that you should okay you should you know volunteer you should if you don't have time for that maybe if you have a few a few cents okay a few dollars to spare five even just five dollars ten dollars it's okay small money adds up okay if you do a dollar you do two five five dollars if you we have 30 people to do it that's already 150 dollars so um uh, i don't know how many people are seeing my videos if you're seeing sixes i definitely think you should do some charity stuff too okay and those will come back to you as well of course when you're doing that you're not thinking about i want to get something in return but 
it's the law of cause and effect it's the law of karma it's a law of attraction whatever you do you will attract those things back to you as well so when you do nice things nice deeds loving things you will receive the same kind of energy back to you all right so let's take a look at your tarot card queen of swords all right so um the swords card Queen of Swords is about making, um, cutting things off, okay? But look at this. This person, this queen is lying there and the, the, the swords is pointing down and she's lying in the cloud, okay? And I think she's holding onto a head. So she might have just beheaded someone <laughs> or she is... Take, I feel like that could be a mask that she's wearing and she's taking off the mask as well, all right? So it's it's telling you that I feel with this, with whatever we were talking about, if you've been very shy or embarrassed about showing your affections, showing your love, because Queen of Swords, they're very, very loving. However, they mask it with um, harsh words, harshness or... Um, they're very very smart, but they don't want to show their vulnerable side And I feel like with the rest of these cards, especially if you're seeing sixes, it's about that as well, okay, but it also I do want to mention with the queen of swords There is also another message that when you're seeing a lot of sixes for some of you not all of you some of you um that you might be too generous and too loving okay so with this queen of swords here is telling you that sometimes you need to have that boundary you don't you could be nice you could be loving but you need to have boundaries okay don't like don't let people take advantage of you of your generosity of your loving nature okay so um with going back to that charity stuff make sure the charity things or the donations that you're donating to is a legit organization okay so don't let other people take advantage of your generosity and of your nice nature but you know still do things for yourself okay and um and do loving things to others as well so that's um Oh, Queen of Swords. We're also talking about making that final decision. So whatever that does not serve you, whatever that is not good for you, you need to cut it out from your life, okay? That's also the Queen of Swords energy as well. Cut out the things that are not. And you need to just cut it out. You don't even need to feel bad about it, okay? Because Six says you, we are, you know... You're probably a very, very loving person. You, um, very nurturing, very, um, you give people a lot of chances to redeem themselves. Well, this time, no, you got to just do it. Okay. And don't feel bad because they deserve whatever it is that you're doing to them. <laughs> all right. Cutting them out of your life. That's all you're doing. You're not even doing anything bad. You're just like, stop talking to them. Okay. Don't feel bad about it. If that's, you know, if they are not a good person, not a good thing, not a good habit, it could be, it could just be a habit, okay? Or it could be just, you know, some things in your life that you need to get rid of. Maybe your house is very, very cluttered. Um, you need to throw some things away, clear some things out so you can make room for better, bigger things to come back in to come in or come back in all right so that's what i see for pile number six and that's the message for um people who are seeing a lot of sixes right uh you know recently and let me know if this resonates with you you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my um, channel and or my video and turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified uh, for future readings and thank you for watching my video i will see you in the next video bye bye so number sevens if you're seeing a lot of sevens what kind of message is trying to tell you first of all it's telling you to go back to your core purpose and away from negativity all right the second one is step and reflect on where you 
your you've been in life and where you're you would like to go. Okay, and then over here it's about remain positive. Um, your hard work will pay off. And then finally, your angels are giving you a push in the right direction. Number seven is a very spiritual uh, number. Okay, so um, there's, you know, spiritual messages. It's a spiritual download. It's over here is telling you that your angels or whatever you believe in is trying to give you give you a push to the right direction. So if there is like a huge sudden change or somebody proposing you with some new things, okay, it's take that as a message. If you see, if after that, you know, you've been thinking about it and you're seeing a lot of sevens, it's telling you that you should probably um, say yes to that proposal or thing, okay? The, the chaos things that are, um, um, or, you know, things are caught. I don't want to say it's not chaos. It's just causing a little bit of a turbulence. Okay. If you're going straight now, there's something that's like trying to make you, it seem like a detour, but maybe it's the actual, the better. Okay. Road for you. Maybe it's a shortcut. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at your, um, Oracle card. It says delight. Okay. Very, very nice. Lots of blue color. Um, very, very calm energy. Very spiritual um, energy, I feel, with this card as well. Because number seven, again, it's very, very spiritual. Um, calming. And then we have this bird right in the middle. And then the flowers are only, like the red flowers, okay, are the only red that's popping from this picture. Delight feeling very good. So if you're seeing a lot of sevens, I feel like um, you if you're not feeling peaceful, okay, if your life is not feeling very peaceful, I feel like you need to find a way to make yourself feel pe at peace. Um, if it could be going into nature, because this is the nature um, card, okay, because this bird sitting in the grass, maybe you need to go out and, you know, camp out for a few days. Or, you know, just relax and um, feel the air, feel the energy, look at the sky, look at the flowers, okay? Um, see all the things around you and feel them. Um, sevens are also, I feel like, very intuitive card. Um, for some reason, seven, I associate it with like a Scorpio energy as well. So um, I feel like it's very, very intuitive, very, very, uh, again, spiritual, mysterious as well. So if you're seeing sevens, um, it's again, Scorpio energy, that would be about transformation, okay, death and rebirth. So something is transforming two okay in your life um let's take a look at the the book okay delight if there has any additional messages okay um it's telling you that delight is expanding in your life clap your hands with glee spend time with others go to a community gathering host a party the joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds this isn't the time to be serious or buckle down to get to work this is the time to be spontaneous and mad madcap do not make hard and fast commitments don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them give yourself permission to have fun Lots of fun, especially in community with others. All right. So if you're seeing a lot of sevens, you gotta, you might be a a, a lone wolf, okay? Because I, I again, I was mentioning about that Scorpio energy, but with this card, it's telling you that um, you want to actually. Uh, communicate with other people, hang out with other people. So number sevens, if you've been uh, a loner recently, you gotta you gotta go out and socialize. Okay, it's telling you to socialize, connect with other people. Um, 
but don't it says okay over here it says get to your core away from negativity so watch out with the people who you're hanging out with you don't want to hang out with the people who are full of negative negativity okay so the community that you want to um associate yourself with it should be very delightful very peace very harmonizing very um gives you a good vibe okay it needs to give you a good good vibe all right and the fun the tarot card we have the prince of discs this is the um the knight of disc i think yes this is the knight of disc energy Okay, this the this is the Knight of Disc, but um, pile number one actually got the actual Knight of Disc, and that's actually the King of Disc in the Rider Waite. But regardless, um, this one is the Knight. Okay, the Knight in the Rider Waite card. Um, but this is uh, Toth. It's the Prince of Discs. Um, very slow moving energy. Um, this is a bull, right? Taurus. So, you know, you're just, you're, you're actually, um, I feel like this is the energy of this one. Remain positive. Your hard work will pay off. It's like you've been, you've been, um, sewing things okay you've been slowly working on things putting in effort okay um to make things happen okay almost like this chariot energy as well except you, you only have one bull pulling um, at one direction instead of trying to um coordinate the two different energy into one um so this is about like moving very very slowly but steady okay so that you can um reap what you sow i know when we say reap what you sow uh, sometimes it's like more negative has a, like a little bit of a negative connotation but over here i feel like it's a very it's a positive thing okay it's a it is a positive thing like your 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 hard work is going to pay off okay but I feel like it is also a little bit of that negative. I that this is why I was like, oh, maybe this is why I the you reap what you sow comes out of this is because it could be a negative thing. Because again, we were talking about spirituality. This number seven is very spiritual number. So uh, karma, right? Scorpio energy again that I said earlier. So it's about karma. You reap what you sow. So if um. If you've been not working very hard, then you won't be able to see a lot of things happening. Maybe the seeing a lot of sevens is telling you to start get moving. Okay, start moving, start working hard so that you can receive good stuff. Okay, see some things um, materializing because the Knight of Discs or the Prince of Discs is about materializing things. Okay. Um, putting in the effort and you'll see you'll get something um, concrete in return all right so um, let's see what else that we see with this there is a globe right here as well so things are uh, oh this globe might be the coins okay and the wand so you are moving very very slowly but at a pace okay you are moving forward um so just don't give up just yet yep over here i just remember with the second message stop it stop and reflect on where you're you uh you've been in life and then where you would like to go now because i just thought with this card is that um because it's telling you it's not like a super fast energy it is a slower energy so that you actually have time to think about things is this where you want to go do you need to actually change your direction because you are moving at a slower pace so that you could change your direction anytime right um so um you know while you make progress 
think about it think about is it where you want to go and um and the and with delight okay and with um seeing things on the brighter side and um really relax okay it says host a party so maybe you've been working a lot now come now now associate yourself with other people and i feel like the party doesn't even have to be big especially right now you know with the pandemic if you are watching the video during this pandemic right now um but if you know after my videos are timeless so if you watch it way after then don't worry about what i just said about pandemic um but with the pandemic thing maybe you just want to host a smaller um party but these people are you people that you haven't seen for a while and they're very very close to you that you consider close friends and you can exchange ideas you might even get some ideas that you haven't thought of before and um and i feel with this with that hosting a party, taking some time off is that is the second energy, second message, okay? Taking time to reflect, all right? So um, that's what I see for pile number seven or for the messages for uh, people who are seeing a lot of sevens recently. Let me know how this resonated with you by leaving in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and or my video. And don't you can turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified in the future uh, for any future uploads. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now pile number eight if you or people who are seeing a lot of eights um recently this is your message is telling you that a windfall is coming your way stop procrastinating and take charge of your life also it's about you will meet the one and then lastly live each day with purpose and focus on making your dreams come true number eight is about potential as well so this is about living to your highest potential and then make that dream that dream of yours come true because when you realize you're you have potential to do whatever you want you can achieve anything you want and over here it says you will meet the one and i feel like this the one could be a love uh, okay a love interest a romantic partner the right person okay but it could also be the one to help you if you are stuck right now with anything if you're looking for partnership at work or some sort okay you might be meet the right person that will be helping you with whatever you want to achieve because it's telling you that you have you can achieve whatever you want to achieve right and live each day with purpose and stop procrastinating and then over here a windfall is coming your way so something quick is coming all right and and number eight it's just i i feel with the the windfall okay coming your way it kind of gives me the uh image of the eight of wands in the rider white card okay something quick and swift is, is coming and with that eight of wands card is also about cupid's arrow so maybe that mess matches with the you will um you will meet the one message okay so let's take a look at your oracle card it says wonders okay this is the clear quartz clear quartz is uh clear quartz is um because it's clear it has the potential to be anything and everything so and i feel like it matches with that uh eight energy the potential of things you are like a, a stone or a a, a diamond okay a stone or oh yeah a stone that it's awaiting to be discovered to be that diamond that's gonna shine okay and um so you are a diamond okay just know that you are very very precious and you can achieve anything that you want to achieve 
and something is going to be coming into your life very very soon it could be a message and if you are uh, single especially you won't be meeting the one okay that love interest of yours the person that you've been seeking for and um if you are not looking for anything in particular romantically then you will be meeting the person for a uh, partnership um like a proposal to uh do some kind of a work together opening up a store together or collaborate on something okay and don't don't say no just too quickly because remember you have potential try it first and see if you could do it okay see how you like it and um don't worry about if you don't have enough um skills for it because skills can be developed okay um just see if you love it or not all right and this is eight is about abundance as well so a lot of abundance of things are coming your way wonders and I feel like wonders is about magic. A lot of magic is going to happen around your life, okay? In your life, lots of potential. Let's take a look at the... Um, the this is also the last card in this uh, deck. So I'm going to read you what it says. It says, just around the corner, exciting possibilities are waiting for you. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Sometimes they won't be apparent at first. Nevertheless, they are there. The more you see them and embrace them, the more these possibilities will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish even the smaller, smaller ones, no matter how tiny they seem to be. Let go of, of expectations. Don't limit the way that you think that wondrous events would appear in your life be open if you believe anything and everything is possible if you believe anything and everything is possible so again this this matches this eight energy very very well what we just said possibilities potential let go of, ex of expectations don't limit the way that you think okay because things can happen in the most mysterious and wonderful ways okay so just believe and it will happen so now let's take a look at the tarot card we have completion very 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 nice this is ooh the four of wands card okay four of wands in a rider weight card is like a, the 11 11 card uh, it's about twin flames it's about soulmate okay whatever name that you want to call it um on top of it is the venus card okay so celebration completion this is almost like that um wheel of fortune too reminds me of the wheel of fortune um so i think uh pile number eight or if you're seeing a lot of eight you're actually close to it the end of a cycle and lots of things that is going to be that celebratory okay is going to be coming in your way again that we were talking about earlier the cupid's arrow the four of wands the soulmate card okay partnership things uh, abundance wonderful things are going to be coming in messages if you've been waiting for it, any type of messages is going to be coming um so don't limit yourself don't limit your thinking think big think of all kinds of possibilities and i think and you know the thing is even if you think very big and you think of like one like things that might that could happen the <laughs> the universe or the or god if you believe in that god or buddha or whatever it is that you believe in they will surprise you with even better things okay so just believe and it will come to you and that's what number eight is all about okay for you um if you've been seeing lots of eights recently also we do i do want to mention though because it says stop procrastinating so if you've been procrastinating these things are not going to come in you got to move you got to move forward you got to put in that effort you got to work 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 all right things will come in your way very very soon and you are almost at the end of a cycle all right so celebrate 
So that's what I see for pile number eight. And that's also the messages for people who are seeing a lot of eights. Let me know how this resonates with you by leaving in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and or my video. And if you uh, want to be notified for future readings as soon as I upload them, turn on that notification bell. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Finally, we have number nines if you are seeing a lot of nines what are some messages for you it says remain faithful to the promise of love to the promise of love it will happen for you you will close the chapter of your life and begin a new one it says also be ready to accept brand new blessings no matter how nerf racking it is and then lastly the more lessons learned the better you'll be able to navigate life so number nine is about learning it's, it's about learning uh lessons learned okay it's about a new beginning because you're at the end of your cycle of the com you're completing a cycle a new one will be begin will begin and then also uh accept be ready to accept brand new blessings okay but it could be very scary again this is this kind of associated with that previous message that because there is a new life new thing new cycle coming in and um, it's telling you that remain faithful to the promise of love. It will happen for you. So I think for people who are single or for people who are looking for love, it will be happening soon. You are at the end of a cycle. Again, that new beginning is coming for you. Let's take a look at your Oracle card. New beginnings. What do we just say? 9999 is about new beginnings so your oracle card just confirmed that there is a new beginning there is a new cycle coming in okay um you are at the end so whatever you are experiencing before especially if it's a lot of harsh lessons a lot of obstacles you are at the end of that journey thank goodness right <laughs> and um and hopefully you've learned a lot on the way okay and you can take all of that lessons all of those experiences all of the things that you've learned and bring it with you and you uh to your next journey next cycle and i think you will be able to make wiser better choices this time and of course there will be new challenges coming in there will be new lessons for you but that's, you know, things to worry about later. Just know that you are at the end of a cycle and something new is coming for you. So if you're looking for a new love, if you're looking for, um, if you are in a relationship right now, so then it's just ascending to the next level, okay? So lots of good things are coming in. You're at the end of a cycle. That's awesome, that's great, right? All right, so let's take a look at your tarot card. We have, ooh, two of cups. Two of cups, the minor, the lover's card in the minor arcana deck. All right, so lots of love coming in. That, what do we just say? I said, if you're single, the first message as this nine is that remain faithful to the promise of love, it will happen so for people who are single you're definitely new love new beginning you are going that it's coming in you are at the end it, you're just very very close you're gonna meet be meeting that person soon okay um how soon uh, i didn't really ask that today but with the two of cups i would say <clears throat> cups energy is about like two like you you know you count it by months um, so I would say it's probably about two months or so, two, three months. Okay. Um, and if you are watching this video as I upload them, so we are in November. So I, w I have a feeling that new because we have new beginnings 2021. Okay. Um, it's a complete new beginning. It's a new year. So maybe you'll be meeting somebody. 
in this new year coming okay and i i just also feel like with this uh you'll be probably able to meet somebody at like a christmas party or like this new year party and that will be the person so if you have any invitation to a party or some sort okay at the end of this year go 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 you might be meeting somebody okay every chance you get to make new friends go if you're looking for love and for people who are in a, a stable relationship your your love is moving up to the next level you're in um you're going to start a new journey with your partner and um it's going to be very very loving very very lots of love very very supportive okay lots and lots of good energy for you and if you're not looking for love partnership okay work you're going to it's going to be a very harmonious partnership with this person if you're getting you might be getting a proposal to work together collaborate on something and so if you feel like you've been alone you've been fighting all these things alone you are going to be able to have somebody to fight fight with you okay to um to rely on and um yeah you are at a very end of a journey and i feel like if you're seeing a lot of nines recently it's mostly love related but and if not then it's about collaboration okay it's about um loving energy if you if if it's not about you know romantic love then it's um you know love in general family okay I feel like relationship wise with anyone is going to be very very harmonious for for you and it's um it's a it's a balanced generous give and take um yeah new cycle lots of new things are coming in for you yay um oh so i did mention about people who are you know if you're watching this video as i upload them but for people who because it is timeless so for people who are watching this way after then you know it's about two months or so it could also be you know at the start of a new season um at a start of a new quarter quarter and season is the same but it differ a little bit okay because it depends on how you calculate your seasons right um it could be um if you're in the upper half of the a year it could be like the uh, the the second half of the year or if you're in the second half it could be the you know the next year kind of thing so it's just it could be anything but something to look forward to all right two months within two months or so that's the minimum all right so that's what i see for pile number nine or for people who are seeing a lot of nines recently let me know how this resonates with you by leaving in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and or my video turn on that notification bell if you want to get notified if i have any future reading and thank you for watching i will see you in the next video Bye bye